What does a day in the life of a rugby gym rat look like? Someone trying to successfully lean bulk and gain muscle, but also perform well in their second ever team for their club's first team. Do I get enough protein in? Does my workout from the night before affect my performance? How many calories can I actually consume on a two plus hour away day? Let me show you. So we start this day in the life the day before. What does a pre-game day workout look like? So this was my mixed upper body session, a mixture of bodybuilding style and athlete style. I went for very high intensity but very low volume because A, that's what's most effective for muscle growth but B, that's what's going to leave me the least sore tomorrow. And I also finished it off with some stretches and foam rolling just to be sure. On to the actual day in the life. Breakfast. I had to leave pretty early so this was going to be the only meal that I ate at my house so I had to get in a big feed. Tuna, scramble eggs on toast with some veg does the job after getting ready like usual um i was running late so i again did some stretches and foam rolling but just in the key areas just to be sure that i wasn't going to be stiff when i'm playing i packed some extra food because it was going to be a while until the actual game so i was going to be hungry which was just lots of carbs and some easy protein lovely stuff and after that i was on my way <coughs> we got some extra food on the way which is very good for the calorie count and after a few hours we arrived Brixham versus Western Supermare. I was on the bench hoping to get maybe like 10, 15 minutes and do as well with that as I possibly could. Here are my highlights. An injury in the backs got me subbed on 10 minutes before the first half ended, giving me a lot more game time than I was expecting. So it was time. Will yesterday's session come back to bite me now? Or did I do enough to stop that from happening? Let's see. I'm chucked straight into the deep end as my opposite winger is charging my way on their first attack since I came on. I close the gap, jockey my feet a little bit and hit. Very good start for me. The confidence was was high after this. A missed pass goes loose and I pick it up just about in touch, but then I step out anyway. Probably should have cut in more, not my smartest play, but we had a penalty advantage, so it don't matter. Which is kicked successfully, I chase just in case it didn't make it, and that is the first half done. Our 10, and technically my boss from VX3, makes a break, finds our scrum half, and I'm running just to his left, screaming, I thought, for the ball, because I was open. But he said he couldn't hear me, so obviously I wasn't very loud, and we ended up scoring anyway. <sighs> But, but that could have been it. I had, there was no one in front of me. Another break from our 10 finds our prop who puts the burners on. I'm in support to his left with absolutely no idea that there is a man right behind me. And as soon as I get the ball, I am stopped near enough straight away, like 10 meters from the line. Again, we still score. There's then a huge hit in the middle of the park. They still managed to get it out wide to my winger again. And again, I put a chop on him, which he took his time to get up from. Remember that because we then get a scrum on our five meter line. We are well ahead in the game like 40 plus points clear so risks can be taken i'd played relatively well so far nothing crazy but then this happens i got the nod from the nine and i knew what we were about to do here's what happened a full length try in my second ever game for my club's first team. I was absolutely buzzing, even if the announcer didn't know my name. And to try for Brixham, uh, by number 19, I don't have a number 19 on them program so i can't tell you who the player is the game ends 58 12 we get a post-match roast dinner and i get smashed Boo! what a day thanks for watching 